Hi, I'm Paul Verostek from Creative Field Recording, where we learn how to capture inspiring sound effects and share them with others. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to add keywords to your field recordings. So a few weeks ago, the team at Pole Position Production was working on a new electromagnetic sound effects library. The EMF stuff is pretty abstract, what someone might call a buzz, another person might call a hum. So we knew we had to cover all our bases with different keywords. These keywords would help people find the sounds as easily as possible. I wrote a lot about keywords in a post on creativefieldrecording.com. You can find the link to that below the like button. It turned out there wasn't an easy or cheap way for a team to work together to add a lot of keywords in batches. At first we tried Google Sheets. Here's a list of our file names and what we did is listen to the sound and then start writing terms one by one. As you can imagine, it would take quite a bit of time, a lot of listening effort to go through all of them. One of the methods we ended up using was Soundly. Soundly is a sound file manager with a lot of great tools. One of them is the ability to add keywords in batches. Now, there's a lot of other tools that you could use, but they can be expensive, the software can be complicated. We wanted a tool that was easy to use that could get a team of people up and running describing sounds in batches quickly and listen to the sounds at the same time. So let's switch over to Soundly. So the first thing we did is we started a new collection. So collections are like Soundly's version of playlists. And let's call it poll EMF. And here's my collection down here. So the cool thing about this is it allows you to work on your sound files in isolation. Let's go add them. I'll switch over to the finder. Here's our sounds. And I'll drag and drop them into Soundly. Just add them to the local library and import. Now, as soon as I get them in there, I'll select all of them and drag them right into my collection or playlist. The cool thing about this is you, it allows you to work on just these sounds. So you don't have to worry about messing up or changing metadata for anything else that happens to be in your collections. Now, Soundly supports B-Wave files, broadcast wave files. Now, B-Wave files only allow metadata to be stored in certain fields. So you'll see that the description here can be modified, the originator, a couple of other places. But for now, we're going to focus on putting our keywords in the description field. So let's find the sounds that we want to modify. So let's start with some startup sounds. You want to search here. This will search just within the playlist. You don't want to search up here. This will return results for everything that you have in Soundly just over here. So now we've got a bunch of startup sounds. I'm going to select them, click the first, go down to the last, hold down shift and click again. And then you right click and select edit metadata on selected files. We want to modify the description here. So we'll click here to update that field. And then we'll find some keywords for starting up. So we could say power on, powering on, turning on, and so on. Before you click Save, you want to make sure this is switched on. Save in WAV files. What this will do is it's actually going to burn in your changes directly to the sound file itself. For this reason, you want to back up your entire sound library before you begin working on this. So any of the sounds that you're going to add keywords for, back them up before doing anything. If you have a problem, you can roll back to them. Let's assume we've already done that. We have this clicked in save and wave files, and then you just save. And as you can see, everything has been saved here. Now let's say that we want to try a new keyword. We're going to look for shutting down sounds. Now, as you can see, it has some of the ones we already changed and a couple other as well. 
So I'm going to do this in two batches. For the ones that are already have some metadata, I'm going to add additional keywords to the end. So we'll do the same thing. Edit metadata on selected files. Update description. And just stick it on the end. So put a comma and space first. Shut down. Same thing. Click Save. And those keywords are added to the end. Way better than going row by row and adding this stuff. For these last two here, they don't have any existing keywords to begin with. So I'm going to do it slightly differently. Edit metadata on selected files. Update description. Previously, I added the comma and the space to tack them on the end of the previous keywords. I'm just going to do it the first way. For this, I'm going to do without the comma and the space and just add the keywords to the beginning. save and there you go you can keep searching for different terms and tack on keywords to the end modify them as you go and that's it as I mentioned if you want to learn about sound effects keywords there's links below the subscribe button if you want to check them out it'll tell you a little bit more about adding keywords why keywords are important and how it helps other people find your field recordings Thanks for watching. See you next time.